has been launched against the federal government for the controversial live cattle export ban in 2011. The ban on sending cattle to Indonesia savaged the industry and Australia's relationship with Jakarta, the effects of which are still felt today. Sky News reporter Dan Borsha has the story. It was a political decision in 2011 which had a detrimental impact on the Australian livestock trade and the Northern Territory economy. It had an incredible impact right across the north of Australia. So in, in financial terms, it wasn't just the, the ceasing of, of cash flow overnight, but it was also about uh, land values up here in the north. They let, it would be fair to say that property prices crashed. Following that crash in land values uh, came a, a, a crash in confidence and, and the morale of people were, um, was greatly impacted up here. So it took an enormous emotional and social toll on families, on businesses and entire communities. The new head of the Northern Territories Cattlemen's Association says legal action wasn't the preferred option. There has been a reluctance by parties to come to the table to discuss this matter. Former Labor Agriculture Minister Joe Ludwig has long been unrepentant about the decision he made and the impacts that it had. Uh, while it caused a lot of pain, um, we, it, it has had positive outcome. The other impact that's often not considered is that on the Indonesian people. This ban stopped a major import from going into our nearest neighbour and caused damage that is ongoing even today. The class action by Minter Ellison on behalf of not just cattlemen but those affected right across the nation is set to begin shortly. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Darwin.